now we're going to wire up the terminal box. That's uh, all the wires that come from the uh, extruder. And the wiring uh, schematic can be found in the uh, owner's manual. And so I start from the right hand side, second from right. I'm just using a curved pair of uh, hemostats to fish my uh, ferrules in there. The first one is a, that I installed is the black one. Just kind of snug it up. The second one will be the red one. These are the, the fans. So it's a double black and double red. That goes right next to the black ones. have to bring, once when we uh, mount the electrical box, we'll have to bring the head cable in and all those attached to the bottom side of this uh, uh, terminal block inside. So then the next one will be white. Uh, this goes to the thermistor on the uh, hot end. gray right next to the white and in between the red and the black and the uh, white and the gray and then the next wires uh, I'm skipping one so just kind of clumping them together a little bit harder to make a mistake it doesn't matter uh, which of the two larger red ones of these go to the heater cartridge on the hot end bit more difficult to put in. That's the last one. So you've wired up the upper part of the uh, terminal block. So we've laid the cables into the uh, panduits here and we're going to feed the uh, head cable uh, into the terminal box and also attach the extruder motor uh, wires here. So. The EXT is for the extruder, and you'll just attach that to the motor, like that. We have the flex gland that's on the, the terminal box, and I've already taken the top part of the flex gland and uh, fed the wires through it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to feed the wires actually into the terminal box. And because these have the barrels on them already, you have to feed them in uh, one at a time. six wires in this head cable and I try to push the other wires off that we already did from the uh, extruder back so they don't get uh, mixed up and tangled within themselves so all six wires have come through and I pull the uh, white um, insulation through get the flex gland um, start screwing that on and when you tighten it down it's actually going to crimp the uh, the insulation of the head cable down so it actually stays in place and you can't pull it up pull it out so that's the installation of the head cable 
to the uh, terminal box. We've installed the uh, motor cable and the head cable to the uh, extruder assembly on the uh, bridge rail here. And the next thing I've done is I've paired the green and brown, the blue and white, and the red and black wires. Uh, these head cable wires are gonna come in from the bottom. So we're gonna start out with the brown wire and we're going from right to left. And you have to loosen the black wire that it's going to be paired with because the ferrules are going to overlap within the bus bar there. When you put them in, you shouldn't uh, see any metal uh, of the ferrule. Once when you've got both of them inserted, you're going to snug the two up. Then we're going to go with the green to red. Once again, you might have to finesse this a little bit because you might push the, uh, the ferrules on the upper part of the bus terminal out. And I usually, I can hold the bottom one so that's why I tighten the top one first. Then our next one is going to be white. And the white one is actually going to pair up to the white one on the top. So the brown and the green go to the fan. The white and the blue goes to the thermistor and then the last two uh, red and black are going to go to the uh, heater cartridge. So I'm going to go loosen the gray on the top. Install the blue to the gray. In the uh, one of the red cartridge wires and once again we're working from the right to the left so black is going to go to this one black to red. And our final red, far left, we're going to go red to red. Once when you have them all in, just make sure that you have them snug down. Terminal block screws. You want them tight, but you don't want them so tight that they cut the, the ferrules. And then what I do is I'll get my hemostats here and I'll do a slight pull test on each one of the uh, ferrules and the wires to make sure that they have been 
not only installed, but they're snug and they're not going to uh, fall out. It's a slight pull test. And then I do a visual. So I have uh, brown to black. I have green to red. I have white to white. I have blue to gray. I have black to red and red to red. So when that's completed, I finished wiring the internal part of the uh, terminal box. And at this point, you can just stuff the wires inside and put the four screws in the box uh, and the box back on.